MarginallyClever.com, Dan here, showing you how to make a pen holder for the Michelangelo 3 drawing robot. Your kit should come with all the following parts. An extension cable, a servo, the laser cut parts, some zip ties, a Lumex connector, some screws, some nuts, and you want to provide your own glue. You can use, I'm going to use hot glue today, but you could also use contact cement or wood glue. I find that hot glue is very forgiving and is still pretty quick, so you can get this done in a couple of minutes. First I'm going to get rid of all the pieces I don't need. Next, I'm going to glue these three pieces together. Notice this piece has a slight a flat edge. The direction matters. Now the Lumex connector also has a matching a matching edge on it. And this ring that comes with it slips in here. Aha! You may find that a pair of pliers makes it easier to get that grip nice and tight. Next, we'll do the servo. The servo bag comes with many small parts, including one with two arms. I use my pliers again, or cutters, to remove one of these arms. The servo is going to go here, and the arm has to be cut so that it doesn't hit the bolt when it turns in and out. This finger, this arm, is what's going to lift the pen off the paper. Notice the zip tie goes under the edge of the servo. That's one. Also notice the two large bits are not on this side. We want as little to interfere on this side as possible. That's one and two. Now for our screws. These screws are quite long because the belts, the belts can be adjusted along the length of the screw to find the right balancing point. Depending on how big your wall is or your, your, your board, you may find that uh, you want to adjust that position to taste. The servo extension has a, a big end and a small end. The big end fits perfectly. Notice the colors match. Now if you're using a Michelangelo 3, you'll want to use a pin or the smallest screwdriver to gently lift the corner in here and pull the wire out. I'm going to try to do this in a way that you can see what I'm doing.
That's one. And that's two. And then they can be reinserted in the same way. Just push that in until it clicks and you're done. Once you finish this, you'll attach the belts on here. The belts go to the motors. The motors go to the control board. The control board talks to the software on your computer and your pen goes in here. I hope you can see this. The distance the pen sticks out from the wood has to be less than the distance of the finger so that the finger lifts the pen off the paper and when it turns, the tip is touching the paper. If you have any questions about this design or suggestions about how to make it better, please feel free to contact us at marginallyclever.com. If you liked this video and you found it useful, please share it with your friends and have a great day.